Starting from the very beginning, we see CJ so cool with a hairstyle that emulates dreadlocks. This is very unique because he has the triangle sections in, but he didn't carry over those triangle sections into his locks, which actually would have been really cool to see. But let's find out how CJ so cool got his dreadlocks and how you can do it too. We see right here he has a two strand twist he did very often before getting dreadlocks. So step number one, do hairstyles that emulate dreadlocks so you can see how they feel and how they look. A lot of people are extremely intimidated on getting dreadlocks because it is a permanent hairstyle yes it can be combed out but for the most part it's permanent this is the beginning of his locking journey after doing two strand twist and we see the eyes a twist out and that is how he started with doing two strand twist and then doing a twist out and then after that he did twisting with gel to maintain it but step number two comes down to figuring out your hair type with CJ so cool, he has about a 4B hair type. The rule of thumb is to base the method you choose on your hair type. So if you have a 4C hair type or anything that's a tight curl pattern, you can choose just about any method, which is about 10. But the most popular method is twisting with gel. And step number three is the method. Just like I said with CJ so cool, he did two strand twist with the twist out. And then that moves me on to step number four, which is the maintenance, which he does two strand twist to maintain it. And he also does just basic twisting with gel to maintain the hair. When it comes to maintenance, the most important thing is maintaining maintaining those sections. As long as you keep every single lock within its own section, you're going to be completely fine. His hair looks really clean right here, but right here he does have braids in, not barrel twists. But you can hardly tell the difference between the two, but barrel twist does look a lot better. After starting out your locks, find different hairstyles that you like and that benefit the locking process. Barrel twists, braids, box braids, two strand twist, all of those hairstyles actually benefit the locking process and help your hair lock up a lot quicker. One thing that separates CJ's hair with a lot of other people when they started their locks is he started out his locks when his hair was already about eight inches. And a lot of people run into what's called the ugly stage earlier on. And a way to avoid that is to allow the hair to grow long before actually starting the locks. Yes, I know you want locks as quick as possible, but sometimes the best thing to do is to allow your hair to grow out long before you start them. And that's of course, if you wanna skip the ugly stage. We see him right here with the two strand twist again. And this I would say is the most popular hairstyle and barrel twist being number two and most popular. The good thing about two strand twist is it holds your hair together very well. And it's beneficial after doing a retwist because you don't have to use duck clips and it holds all your hair together perfectly. And the hairstyle just looks extremely clean. The only downside of starting your locks when your hair is already long, you kind of do go through that ugly stage because you see right here that his tips are still very frayed and they're not blunted off but obviously that takes care of itself over time and of course you could blunt your locks off yourself like using a crochet hook but you're gonna go through about three to six months of your hair still looking underdeveloped even though it's long and that is of course if you're doing a traditional method like twisting with gel twisting with gel on average will initially lock within three to six months and if you don't know what different methods there are and how long each method it takes to lock up then click the link in the description that says what is my hair type and in that video it's going to show you not only your hair type but also different methods and how long those methods take for your hair to lock up but it didn't take long for cj so cool's dreadlocks to start to mature you see his tips are starting to blunt off here this was a very popular hairstyle for him in the beginning stage with the half up half down one thing to note about his hair is that he has a full set of dreads and i would encourage all of you guys to start your locks out with a full set of hair don't do a high top fade and start your locks because it's hard to get a full set from starting with a high top fade because you have to allow the sides to grow out. You might even have to trim the locks that are on the top of your head. And I've dealt with more people that wanted to go from high top fade to a full set of dreads versus people having a full set of dreads to high top fade. I deal with people with high top fades all the time saying that they wanna grow their hair out so that they can have a full set of dreads. And here's the back. You can see that the back is actually a little bit more developed than the rest. And another thing to note is that the locks on the back of his head are a little bit thicker. This comes with having locks. And a lot of the times just the locks on the back always appear thicker and turn out thicker. And that is because of one thing. The hair on the back of your head is the thickest hair on your head for everybody because the hair on the top of your head is naturally thinner. But comment down below who you wanna see me do a video on. In the next video, I'm doing DC the Don. So stay tuned for that video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Are you tired of using harsh chemicals on your dreadlocks? Locks. Try GreatLocks.com Dreadlock products. Our products are made with nourishing ingredients to keep your dreadlocks healthy and strong. Say goodbye to the damaged dreadlocks and hello to the healthy locks with GreatLocks.com Dreadlock products.